Chapter 2 The Quiet Tour The next morning, Harry awoke. He was in his father's room, where there were lots of things she had done in secret. He had, of course, lived quietly in the top floors for years, till he decided he should marry within four weeks before they were taken to jail. He had to admit that his mother and father, the Kelly Trims, were into being self-important, which have told him they were over themselves and was ready to curse them, which reminded him of something James tried to avoid and has done it. Miss Flint would get him to sign his name on orphan lists, which would get his secret of existing found out. He had his invisibility cloak to keep himself out of trouble. Boy! said a booming voice of Mr. Kellytrim, who was shouting from downstairs. If there was a good reason why James stayed up here, was that he wanted to ignore his father. Abby suggested he should ignore his stepfather. He started looking round in the top floor with the cloak on. Boy! shouted Mr. Kellytrim again. Still, Harry ignored it. You're going to be sorry, shouted Miss Flint, who was about to walk up the stairs. Ha having heard that threat from Miss Flint, his father's sister, he muttered a spell to break the stairs. That will keep your mouth shut, you little runt, said Harry. Miss Flint, limping off the wreck, was hurt. The stairs broke, Dad. He won't do as you told. Right, I'll get him down. The lift's working, at least he didn't do something wrong to that. Harry walked everywhere on the top floors till he visited the library. There was nobody in it. The library had been empty. James had been visiting it, for the Kelly Trims were never more educated. They never visited the library. With a bit of a look inside, he had a peep of finding the book of interest. There was one hidden in the middle was the old book never read for years. It was called The Life and Lies of the Kelly Trims. He read the history saying about the rest in the 80s, 90s and 2000s. There was a crime they did it was killing children with whips. 
it was obvious that Miss Flint hid it so she and the Kedditrins wouldn't get caught. I'll send it to the police. There's her to get an interest out of these kids, he muttered. Boy! End of chapter 2